name is Mu'ain Al-Bastaki. I'm known to be the magician mentalist from UAE. I'm the guy that goes to the shows and reads your minds and mesmerizes you with the art that he knows. This art was somehow not allowed to be done in the Arab world. When I came, when people used to watch what I'm doing, they used to say it's real magic. It is not. It is just illusion. Well, I'm usually asked of how did you start being getting into magic? It was not through me reading books or watching videos. It was from my grandfather. When our grandfathers used to want to do some trade and go to India for trade, in one of his trips to India, he there met a group of magicians who were performing in the street. After they finished their performance, he went to the leader of that group. He said, I want to learn some magic. He said, okay, if you can pay me some money, I'm gonna teach you. He taught him the magic, but when he came back to Dubai, he tried teaching my father and uncle. They both were not interested. He kept on these secrets to himself until I was six years old. But he slowly, slowly started teaching me what and how to do magic. By age of nine, I went and I did my first show in front of my family. The show was so bad, they knew all the tricks, how I was performing, but it was my first ever experience. So when I finished my high school, I went to my father. I tell father, I know what I want to do in my life. So he was happy. He thought he's going to be a doctor. He's going to be an engineer. He's going to be a lawyer. I told him, I want to become a magician. For some reason, the whole world became black in my eyes. It was a big slap that he gave me, asking me to go and continue my education. I continued my education. I got my master's degrees in business administration. I gave him my certificate. I told him, Father, I'm going back and doing what I love, which is doing magic. I continued my education on magic until 2010. That was when I went on TV and I did my first magic there. So the first illusion that I did on TV, it was the vanishing of Abdullah Balkhair, a famous singer from UAE, from his house to the studio, in a studio that was surrounded with people and lots of celebrities there, and then vanishing him back from the studio to his house. It was a big news, everybody was talking about it. They aired that episode around 10 times on Sama Dubai TV. And that was where I went from a TV to another TV, from a media to another one, and performing for lots of VIP peoples, what I know of magic. So when I started my path of magic, my dad was one of the people that didn't agree with it. He was that, okay, what is this, this thing that you're doing, you know? You're eating glass, you're hitting nail in your head, and what is all that? So he wasn't with the idea of me becoming a magician. But when I became quite famous and people started knowing me and noticing me and my videos were going viral here and there, he started liking it. So he started sending my videos out everywhere of, of being proud of his son. So what I'm very sad about is I lost my dad like around two months ago. So that, that I miss, that somebody that didn't, wasn't with, with, with the idea of me becoming a magician. And then he was very happy for me. And then now he's not there. So, so that makes me sad. But of course, the same thing, it makes me happy that he accepted the fact that I became a magician after he was against the idea. Uh, I, I do lots of things when you think about it. I am a full-time employee, and usually people don't know that. I'm a banker, and I am a magician. Well, you know what, when, when, I, when people started knowing in the bank that I do perform magic, 
uh, they were coming to me for any fraud happening. Like, you know what, somebody has stolen this amount of money, who was it, you know, or, or this have happened, was it you? Because you're a magician, you can just vanish something. Well, it doesn't work that way, that's what I'm saying. I do not have magical powers, but I know how to have uh, people have the illusion of me doing something magical. One, one of the things that I used to do, and this is a secret I'm bringing out to the audience now, well, I used to sometimes cheat with magic. I used to, when I go to the exams, I used to have my ways of me having some of my answers written and hidden that nobody knew how, and it used to help me when I do the exams. So I'm not advising people to use magic tricks for that purpose, but I was, I was doing that. At one, one time, I, I was caught by police and I was a little bit speeding, so he stops me. And when he came, he wanted my ID, so I gave him my ID and I vanished it. So he was so mesmerized, he decided he's not gonna give me a fine that day. Or maybe he was happy, he just didn't wanna give me a fine, he just wanted to tell me not to speed anymore. My name is Moen al so We're gonna do some nice magic with you. What I want you to do, I want you to put on this blindfold, put it on your eyes. You don't see what's happening, but they are here, they can see what's happening. You don't see anything, yes? So what I'm gonna do, I'm not gonna touch you now. When you feel something happening, raise your right hand, yes? Sure. I'm gonna try and bring Abdul, connect the doll with you. You feel a touch, you raise your right hand. Can you take the blindfold off? What did you feel, some touch? Yes. Yes? Yeah. But I never touched you, do you know? Really? Did I touch him? Oh, you felt that touch? Yes. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. So I'm trying sometimes to add this little bit of experience in people's life when I'm out there doing, uh, buying something or I'm, I'm, you know, I'm meeting people. I have a son now of myself and I'm waiting for a day that he can be grown up and for me to teach him what my grandfather taught me and how I explored the, or the art of magic for him to explore it more. My dad had one of these rare old shop in Dubai that used to rent out VHS and Betamix tapes and one of the tapes that he used to get from USA was David Copperfield's TV specials. David Copperfield used to do miraculous things, vanishing a Statue of Liberty, cutting somebody in half. I didn't know how these tricks were done, but then that led me into doing one of my own best tricks that I've ever done, which was the vanishing of Burj Khalifa. After lots of approvals and communications, we had to do that in a day which was quite crowded. I think we picked a Friday and we did the illusion there. It was a few seconds, whoever was there was able to watch and, and that, was, that was it. And it's an illusion. I wouldn't be able to, if somebody calls me to go and vanish, uh, I don't know, the, the father-in-law's house, I cannot do that. So if somebody comes and offers me $100,000 uh, for a wrong cause, I am not gonna do. But it's gonna, if it's for the right cause, then I'm up for it. My goal always was to change the perception of people on magic. And also one of the things that I also wanted to have is why not other people from outside notice one from the, uh, from the Arab world? Why not people from US or UK or Europe talk about somebody that is there in the Arab world who could do something very amazing and great? So that was one thing that I also wanted to achieve. Magic, to me, it's a different kind of art like other arts. It's like painting, dancing, singing, 
or sports. It's just an art. Well, the thing that I just really enjoy uh, being a magician is the reactions of the people to whatever magic I do. Okay. There is no way I know, yes? Yeah. So I wanted to try and send that number from your head to my head. Imagine there is a thread from your head to my head. Close your hands. There is no way I know. Is it number one? Check it out, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> yes? Thank you. When I go on a stage and I perform for a thousand of people and then I could get somebody up and read their mind or read everybody's mind and then the stand ovation that I get that, that makes me happy. Them being happy with the experience and me connecting with them on emotional level, that's what makes me happy.